What's going on everyone, Synextralize here. And today, Fortnite has added a new way for controller players to possibly get the edge or keep up with people who are playing on mouse and keyboard. With Fortnite's new update rolling out today for version 19.30, they added a gyro setting for players who use controllers when they're playing Fortnite. These gyro controls will help you with aiming so you have more control over your shots, can look around, do whatever you want to do with the gyro settings. One thing that they have added along with the gyro controls is what they are calling the flick stick, which is which is an absolutely insane bonus to being a controller player for anyone who does use a controller. I personally am a keyboard and mouse player for Fortnite just because I feel that's more comfortable for me when it comes to building and all that other stuff. But this right here is a huge dub for controller players and helping them out. If you have your gyro controls on, you are able to just flick yourself to look in a certain direction, whether it's forward, back, left, right, just instantly by just hitting over on, on your controller. It is absolutely insane how quick the flick is. Like there is no way any human could possibly turn around that quickly, hit a big old 180, call it a day. I've also heard that if you are using your gyro controls and you are shooting, if you take your controller while you're shooting and you aim it downwards, it pretty much gets rid of all the recoil from the gun that you're shooting, whether it's the MK7, the Stinger. I I'm curious on how it'll work with, with Gunther's st Stinger, because that thing, the recoil is all over the place. If that manages to control that Stinger specifically, that would be absolutely insane and i would be terrified of every controller player that got a hold of that weapon i do truly believe that the implementation of the gyro and the flick stick really does help out with controller players whether or not they are competitive or a casual player who just likes to play pubs i'm really curious on how a competitive player who uses a controller will actually feel about the gyro and flick stick controls Obviously, it'll take people a, a little bit of time to actually get used to it. So probably like maybe like a couple hours at most, I would think. But for the competitive scene, I feel like this probably is a really good step in the right direction. So if you do have your gyro controls on, one thing that you do have to be, be weary of is that you will not have any more aim assist with gyro on. Just because of how your movement is with the gyro controls, because you'll be like moving your controller like this to actually aim at people. So it's almost similar to like moving a mouse in a sense, but because of that, they when you have the, those controls on, there will not be any sort of aim assist added to it. So holding it downwards for that zero recoil might be the best thing. Honestly, I think that's better than honestly having aim assist personally. Because if I can just hold my controller downwards and have zero recoil, that would be absolutely insane. I would be all for it. I do believe that the implementation of the gyro controls and the flick stick is such a huge step for Fortnite, trying to level up the playing field between the keyboard and mouse players and the controller players. If you guys enjoyed this video and are excited to try out the gyro controls and the flick stick for yourself, go ahead, hit that like button for me. And while you're at it, you might as well hit that subscribe button for, for more of that sweet, sweet Fortnite content. And if you guys have hung around this long, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the gyro controls and the flick stick. Do you guys think it was a good imp implementation? Does it give the controllers players too much of a buff? Do they need to dial it back a bit? Or, or, do, or do you think it, it perfectly e evens up the playing field? Let me know down below. And on that note, I'm going to get on up here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay.